Let's look at bringing the ORM system into the operating room. The first step is to turn on the ORM image acquisition system, commonly called the ORM. The power switch for the ORM image acquisition system is like the ignition switch on an automobile. You turn it once completely to the right, then let go. The movement enable and system on indicators will light up. Now you can drive the system. Squeeze the bar on the transport handle to apply battery power to the rear wheels and gently push the system forward. Always make sure that the path you are going to take is clear, free of other equipment or cables on the floor. Next, bring the mobile viewing station into the operating room. Now we'll connect the system. On the back of the mobile viewing station is a power cable. Unwrap it from its cable wraps and plug it into a main power outlet. Next, take the large interconnect or umbilical cable from the MVS and plug it into the O-arm. There's a connection port at the bottom rear of the O-arm cabinet. Align the red dot on the interconnect cable with the red dot on the cable port and insert the cable. Give it a tug to make sure the connection is secure. You'll know the system is properly connected if the battery indicators on the ORM IAS power panel are scrolling. With the ORM IAS on and the systems connected, you now turn on the mobile viewing station. Turn the power on switch to the right. The system on indicator lights up. If you're using the ORM system with a stealth station navigation system, you have one more connection to make. Plug a network cable into the network port at the back lower connection panel on the MVS. Plug the other end into the network port on the Stell Station staff cart. Give the cable a light tug to make sure it is secure. Your system is now ready for imaging.